welcome back to another video. I am Charlene. I review perfumes. I share with you my favorite fragrances and on this channel you will find me talking about beauty, lifestyle and my favorite thing which is teeth. <laughs> um, so my darlings I have four fragrances that I would like to share with you and each one of these fragrances is going to represent each season. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with autumn because we are heading into autumn shortly. And I wanted to feature a perfume that I think would warm up those cooler evenings and cooler days. Now, this beautiful fragrance that I have is my Narciso Poudre. This lovely, soft, fluffy cloud of a fragrance is so comforting so warming and this just reminds me of the beginning of autumn i feel like you can wear this throughout the whole of the autumn period bright and clean but soft at the same time we have jasmine petals we have white bulgarian rose we have powdery musk vetiver and white cedar so in this fragrance you know you've got the musk notes and you've got some jasmine in here as well and the jasmine adds that sparkle. It makes this fragrance wearable for the day. Sometimes I find some musk scents to be very strong, very overwhelming, but not this one at all. I find this to be very delicate and soft. It is strong, so the performance is there. It's a very rich fragrance, but it's so delicate. And if you like um, girly, soft, powdery musk, then this fragrance is ideal for you. This would just suit the autumn weather perfectly and I would wear this in the daytime and the evenings. I was thinking of a fragrance that would complement the winter very well. So you want something that is warming, a little bit spicy, maybe there's some vanilla in there. So the fragrance I chose for you is my Poison Girl. Now this fragrance is rich with rose. We've got vanilla, tonka bean, we have some bitter orange in here and this fragrance is just so ideal for the winter time. I think this is a fragrance that's easy to wear in the daytime as it is um, in the evening. So I wanted to find fragrances that would match both daytime and evening. So very universal. Um, this fragrance lasts on the skin very well. I find it to be quite sexy. It's a perfect date night fragrance because you've got the sweetness in there. You have orange blossom. It's like a bitter orange. And then we also have two types of rose and vanilla. And this is just ideal for the winter period. So that's my poison girl. So we're heading into spring now and a fragrance I prefer to wear in the spring is something that is a little bit sparkly and fresh and floral. I love my florals in the springtime. When I head into spring, I usually change up my fragrances. So I go from those sweet, rich orientals, um, the vanillas, the woody notes, the oud. Um, I sort of like change that into more delicate, sparkling florals. Now, when I think of something that's sparkling, one fragrance comes to mind and it's a perfume that I adore at the moment. And this is my Harrods Rose. This fragrance is an exclusive fragrance to Harrods and this is by Bond Number no. 9. And this beautiful sparkling rose is a mixture of musk and blends of different roses. It's extremely floral, it's sparkly, it's light, it's very bright. This fragrance has an effervescence. It's bubbly and it's playful, very girly. And this just represents the springtime. So this is an ideal perfume for the spring. In a sense, it reminds me of, if you want to know what this smells like, this perfume smells a lot like a fragrance by Anique Guital. This perfume also reminds me slightly of shampoo as well. It's got that clean, fresh, sparkling note. Um, it reminds me of that a little bit. So the notes in this perfume, we have um, Narcissus tuberose, we have some rose also, cashmere wood, we have ambrette and we have musk. Now, this is an ideal perfume for the daytime. 
this is a fragrance I can wear easily in the spring. It's beautiful, um, fresh, clean florals. This is just perfect for the spring months. This would be my go-to spring fragrance. So that is my Harrods Rose. I'm, I have a fragrance here for you that just defines summer. This is a complex blended fragrance. It's a short winner. It's loved by many. Everyone loves this perfume. And this is Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. Now this sparkling, golden, coconut rich floral is ideal for the summertime. It's ideal for vacay. And then what I love about this fragrance, it's quite elegant. So we have coconut milk, we've got sandalwood, we've got vanilla, we've got golden amber, we've got tiare flower, we've got orange flower, lavender, bergamot. It's so complex, but it's beautiful. And what I admire about this fragrance, what I adore about this perfume is that I am happy to wear this throughout the whole of summer. If I had to choose only one fragrance for the whole of summer, which is actually quite hard. I don't know if I could actually do that, but let's pretend, okay? if i had to choose one which i really would i would wear this one because this is a fragrance i can wear in the daytime i can wear it on holiday this is perfect for the beach it's great for you know extreme heat um and then it's so sexy as well i mean i could wear this you know on a date night in the summertime as well very girly and elegant um i do love this so this is a fragrance that I would get a lot of wear during the summer months because I can wear it from the daytime to the evenings. It's so easy to do so. Uh, that's my bronze goddess. These are the fragrances that if I had to choose only four fragrances to represent each season, it would be these fragrances here. So this is my 2020 version. I think I'm going to do this as an annual thing, um, or maybe I might do it twice a year. Um, but at the moment, my current faves are these perfumes to match each season. This one just smells like the spring. It just smells like a new start. It smells refreshing. It's light. It's bubbly. This one's a bit warm and rich, sexy as well. It's gorgeous. Um, so those are my top fragrances if I only had to pick four for each season. So my darlings, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you had to choose only four fragrances to represent each season, which is not easy to do if you are a perfume lover such as myself, let me know what your favorite fragrances are for each season. I would love to check those out. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye darlings.